This scary video comes from Irish Blood 101. A TikTok user known for vlogs accidentally recorded a paranormal occurrence. In one intriguing vlog, Finn explores an abandoned urgent care where he once worked. Despite the recent closure, he seizes the opportunity to investigate the eerie premises. All right, I'm working in an old urgent care that just got shut down. It got shut down uh, before the freeze here in Texas. Uh, I'm not sure why it closed down, but it's pretty spooky. I'm supposed to be looking for a leak in here. This bathroom, creepy hallway. Real spooky place. Another bathroom. Uh, this is a second uh, two-story building. This used to be the elevator shaft right here. I guess we're taking the stairs. I guess meditation class used to be upstairs. Had to put your shoes in this little cubby. After some further investigation, uh, there's no one else in this building. I fucking heard someone go down those stairs though. So, I guess this was the meditation room. There's a lot of natural lighting in here. I, don't, I probably don't need the flashlight right now. Here's the top of the elevator shaft. You can't fucking see anything down there. So here's the meditation room. Kind of looks like the fucking back rooms. It looks very culty. There's a stage up here. It looks like a couple of altars next to them. Creepy. Okay, now I'm getting the fuck out of here. That was it. First, a shrill EVP is audible followed by the sound of someone rushing down the stairs and a loud bang from a nearby room. Subsequently, Finn, reaching his threshold, hastily exits the building. What's your take? Is he genuinely witnessing paranormal phenomena or could it be an elaborate prank? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. A man named Zach works at a Mexican convenience store frequently finding himself working alone during the night shift. Some employees claim to hear voices and experience eerie occurrences while walking alone in the store at night. There are even accounts of things moving by themselves. Several years ago, a tragic event unfolded when a robbery occurred inside the store, resulting in the loss of one worker's life. One night, as Zach works alone, he decides to record the surroundings to share with his friends and family. The footage captures something chilling on camera. Take a look. A black figure is captured on camera walking across the isle just behind the shelf inside the store, as if someone or something swiftly moved to the side. When Zack investigates each aisle, there is nothing to be found. 
given that he works the night shift and the store is typically closed after 11 p.m., locked for customers, it raises questions about who or what this figure could be. Is it a lingering presence? Perhaps the spirit of the worker who lost their life in the robbery years ago, coming back to haunt the store? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Two security guards carefully examine security footage captured by an outdoor camera positioned outside a building in Argentina. Their purpose is to investigate an incident that occurred the previous day with the hope that it has been recorded on the CCTV footage. Methodically scrutinizing the recorded footage, they eventually discern something unsettling. Pay close attention for the disturbing revelation. The security guards, taken aback and perplexed, witnessed something inexplicable. In the footage, a woman can be seen standing in the middle of the street, setting something on fire under the dim lighting. Suddenly, she appears to vanish into thin air. Amidst the lingering smoke, it's as if she transformed into the smoke itself. Many viewers, as well as the security guards, have pointed out that the smoke seems to move and take the form of a skull. After witnessing the unexplainable events captured in the unedited CCTV footage, the security guards are certain that they encountered something paranormal that day. They speculate that the woman in the footage might be some kind of demon or someone engaged in mysterious witchcraft. Even if the smoke forming a skull was deemed a strange coincidence, the inexplicable vanishing act of the person cannot be explained. There is no trace of her leaving the camera's view. The question remains, what could this be? Share your thoughts on this puzzling occurrence. Danny and his friends explored the deserted area, patiently waiting for moments when the mysterious activity emerged, often occurring around 3 a.m. Armed with cameras, they ventured out to investigate and discover what awaited them in the quiet darkness. So we're in the middle of the desert right now. It's like 3 a.m. They say that around here, like the witch uh, appear somewhere here. We'd be hearing some noises right in the back, uh, but I don't know. We stay quiet. We can hear some noises right by now. Oh shit, watch. What the fuck was that, man? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Don't get too close, man. Get too close. See if it's come through here. Let's see what the fuck was that. What the fuck was that? Oh, what the fuck is that shit doing? Oh, what the fuck? Run, run. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that shit? Armed with lights, they navigated through the darkness and suddenly encountered a peculiar scene. A creature resembling a long dark hair emerged from behind a wall. The entire incident was captured on camera. However, some viewers suggested that Danny and his friends might have orchestrated the event for attention. The video claimed to depict genuine footage of a mysterious encounter in the desert. What's your take on it? 
Do you believe the friends stumbled upon something extraordinary? Or was it all just a cleverly staged spectacle for views? You decide. Susie Soul, Maury's family lived in a profoundly haunted house in England. The house was filled with peculiar items left behind by its former owners. Strangest of all, on the third floor, there is a particularly eerie painting left behind by a previous tenant. Susie claims that this painting is the most haunted object in the entire house. According to her, it often sparks uncanny conversations with the spirit named Gilbert, who she believes inhabits the painting. One day, Susie and her brother approached her niece to inquire about the spirit Gilbert. Do you like him? Yeah, Gilbert's like one of my best friends. Meg. Where did he come from? I don't know. I, I think the man that, that used to live here painted it. Is, he, is Gilbert friendly? Yeah. Does he speak to you? Yeah. What does he say? This is the point when things take an even creepier turn. Without hesitating for a minute, Susie starts investigating, seeking an old picture and some information about her family home. What she discovers is downright creepy. Here is a photo of the house from 1916 and it was built in 1902. So this would be the first or one of the first families to live in this house. As you can see, there are six people present in the photo. And looking at the English census records, I found that the father would be called John, the mother was called Maud, and next on the balcony here's her daughter Dorothy. The birth of a little boy called Gilbert was also registered here in 1911, so he would be about five or six in this photo. I'm unsure why he's not with the rest of his family in the photo, what they did to him. I just have an overwhelming feeling that something really terrible happened to him at the hands of his own family. The weirdest part is that this is where the sun painting is situated in the house. That's his room. Things around the house start to get even weirder. One day, when Susie is home alone, she begins to hear banging noises emanating from upstairs. Without hesitation, she grabs her phone and starts filming as she ventures upstairs to investigate. the atmosphere in the house grows increasingly peculiar. During one evening, when Susie is alone, she hears persistent banging from the playroom where Gilbert's painting hangs. Upon investigation, the room appears empty. On another night, as she ascends the stairs, an eerie sensation lingers in the air within the third floor playroom. girl prines away at the floorboards while singing you are my sunshine recalling that the spirit gilbert is said to inhabit an old painting of the sun after the girl has gone to bed susie and her brother return upstairs to investigate the area of the floor that her niece was picking at what they find sends chills down their spines
Underneath, they discover an old Ouija board with a picture of the sun, bearing a striking resemblance to the haunted Gilbert painting. Is there truly a spirit named Gilbert haunting the third floor playroom of Susie's old house? Could this spirit be sending messages to Susie's young niece? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. The well-known paranormal investigators, Casey and Colton from Mindsea TV, revisited the ghost town near Rodney, Mississippi, which they had coincidentally discovered three years earlier. The discovery was tied to a mystery box that Casey had purchased, containing a card with coordinates leading to the ghost town. Located in an isolated area surrounded by swamps, locals assert that the place is cursed and haunted. During their investigation, they managed to capture footage of a figure leaning out of a window and other inexplicable phenomena. This time, Casey and Colton unintentionally revealed the location during a live broadcast. Colton's mother interrupted the broadcast, informing him that someone had thrown a mysterious vial of blood into their yard. These crows came and dropped off a blood-filled amulet. No way. In my mom's f***ing yard. They just, they dropped it in the yard? That's insane. Bro. Looks to go to Rodney, Mississippi with the dark vial of blood. However, to reach the place, the team must go through very difficult terrain nevertheless. They both did not realize that before they reached to the ghost town, things would start to get scary. Hey, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. The f*** is that? Shh. There's a f***ing fire up there. There's somebody up there, bro. Hold on. Here, hold this for a second. Wait, bro, hold this for a second. I'm gonna turn on the night vision, right? Where the f*** gonna be out here right now? Oh, f*** if I know. Set up for this shit. There's people out here. We gotta go. Why are we going towards it? During their journey to the ghost town, the men came across a bonfire with an individual nearby, raising their apprehension. They attentively surveyed the scene using a night vision camera. Suddenly, one of them unintentionally stepped on a branch, causing the suspicious figure to extinguish the fire and keenly observe Casey and Colton. Responding promptly, they decided to depart the area. Regrettably, a few minutes later, they heard branches breaking behind them, accompanied by an unsettling sensation that someone was trailing them. Unbeknownst to them, this marked only the commencement of a night fraught with terror. I think we're coming up though. Mine's dying too. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, 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 wait. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. There's someone else up there. Someone just ran across this fucking Dude, street. Dude, we can't. Where are we supposed to go then? Shh. I hear something. Wait. We need to move. We need to move. Dude, let's go left. Let's go left. Let's go right. Let's go right. As they neared their destination, Casey's camera recorded the chilling sight of a male figure crossing the road. This individual was distinct from the one encountered at the campfire, adding a new layer of unease. Now, they found themselves not only concerned about the person near the campfire, but also wary of the stranger crossing their path. Despite these unsettling developments, the YouTubers pressed forward, reaching the same building Casey had explored three years earlier. They unpacked the vial of blood, positioned it on the device, and initiated communication with the spirits. The events that unfolded next were truly horrifying. You ever seen a boar attack? Oh, f they're bad. 
Let's hurry the f up. Okay. But then the unexpected happened. That's it. Can you please give us a message through one of these devices? You can say something through this. You can say something through this. Give us a message. I've never heard anything like that in my life. Dude, that was way more than that. We need to find our way back to the car like now. Yeah. Oh, I'm ready to get out of here. Upon Casey's request for a message, the entire building started shaking violently. The men, without hesitation, swiftly retreated. They rushed to their car, attempting to drive away, but encountered an unforeseen obstacle in their path. No. Hey. What the f this is definitely the way we came, right? 100%. This is the only way? This is the only way, yeah. Pull up a little bit, get closer, so I can see what's going on. It's gonna f our tires out, dude. Yeah, all right, I'll move them. Get back in. Bro, I think there's someone back there. No, don't say yeah. that. Lock the door, lock the door. Lock the door. <laughs> what do you see? Oh, I'm trying to see. Like how yeah, far away? Back how far away? Oh, he's running, bro. Drive, 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 drive. Hold. The team encountered a deliberate obstruction on the sole road leading to their exit. Strategically placed branches that hadn't been there before. Casey promptly cleared the path and noticed a movement behind their car. Swiftly entering the vehicle, he activated the night vision camera capturing another figure in pursuit. Fortunately, the team managed to escape the unsettling location. The identities and motives of these individuals remain elusive, prompting speculation. Regarding the enigmatic vial of blood triggering the building's violent shaking, the question of paranormal activity or a meticulously orchestrated hoax lingers. The ultimate interpretation rests with you, for those interested, the complete investigation episode is accessible on their YouTube channel, Mind Seed TV. In this video, a little girl was playing under the bed. And while she was coming out from the bed, a mysterious figure comes out behind her. Who or what it could be? A human or something mysterious entity? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching scary videos. Here we make scary comp or scary compilation where we do reaction and narration on scary videos, creepy videos, scary ghost videos, ghosts caught on camera, scary TikTok ghost videos, poltergeist, paranormal activity, demons and witches, caught on camera, paranormal investigations of ghost hunters and ghost hunting. These are the scariest videos on the internet. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like, share and press the notification bell so you get notified every time when we post new content.